Today on the Cardinal Sports Network, your Lawrence Cardinals will be taking on the Steinert Spartans in varsity wrestling. First out on the mat today will be the 120 pound weight class. Wrestling for Lawrence will be Ryan Edwards and he's going up against Nate Bigger from Steinert. Now wrestling begins. match up with what you're watching, that's because there's another map outside of our view where another meet is taking place. So far, neither wrestler are able to find an advantage. Anxious to overcommit. Now, a bit of a grapple going on, but that didn't last. into this first bout and both wrestlers still on their feet. No points have been scored. First bout is going to end with neither wrestler scoring any points. Bigger electing to stop start on the bottom for the second bout. Bigger tried for an escape there. Edwards not allowing it. Now Edwards brings him down to the mat. Bigger back up to his knees. Edwards trying to roll him over. Bigger struggling up to his feet. And Edwards brings him back down to the mat. Now look, rolling him over, looking for a pin. Bigger able to roll free. Well, not free, but roll back over. And that's going to be three points awarded to Edwards for a near pin. One point awarded to Bigger for the escape. Seconds left in this bout. Now Bigger goes in, tries for the leg. And referee says too close to the edge. They'll go back to the center of the mat with 18 seconds left in this second bout. Two 
two very evenly matched wrestlers out on the mat at the moment. Clock's going to count down to zero here for the second time with both wrestlers on their feet. Edwards currently leading three to one over Bigger. And for this third and final bout, it's going to be Edwards on the bottom, Bigger on top. Edwards able to get to his feet immediately, now looking to break that grip. And Bigger is able to bring him back down to the mat. Edwards right back up on his knees and he'll go back up to his feet. And that's going to be two points awarded to Edwards for the reversal. Another two points. Edwards now up seven to one. Bigger tried to get to his knees, brought immediately back down to the mat by Edwards. Once again, Bigger got to his knees, but was brought right back down to the mat by Edwards. Referee going to break that one up and restart the action. Edwards still on top. Edwards brings Bigger back down to the mat. Now looking for a way to roll him over. Bigger able to get up to his knees for a moment, but not for long. Now Bigger to his knees, Edwards drives him over. And that's going to end the match. Your winner, Ryan Edwards, by decision, 7-1. to one. That's going to bring us up to the 126-pound weight class. Stephen Hamm will be wrestling for Lawrence. We see him coming out onto the mat now, going to check in at the scorer's table. Anthony Rosigliano will be wrestling for Steinert. He's already out on the mat. Wrestling starts. Sigliano went for the legs. Ham brings him down to the mat, but no points awarded yet. And now there's going to be two points for a takedown by Ham. Sigliano back up to his knees after coming dangerously close to a pinning position. Now him trying to roll Sigliano over for the pin.
Sigliano up to his knees. And Hamill bring him back down to the mat once more. Referee says the action's getting too close to the edge of the mat, so he'll move. And went back to the middle, and we'll try it again. Ham still on top with 16 seconds to go in this first bout. Still in control, looking for a way to roll Rosigliano over. Rosigliano back up to his knees, and the buzzer will be, bring the first bout to a close. With Steve Ham leading three to zero over Anthony Rosigliano. I'm sorry, it's two zero. Now Ham on the bottom. Wrestling resumes. And Ham able to break free. That's a point for the escape. Ham now leads three to zero. Both wrestlers go down, quick to recover. Action gets a little too close to the edge of the mat. They'll go back to center once more. Both wrestlers upright for this one. So now it goes for the leg. Still another wrestler with an advantage. Ham looking to change that. And now there's him with the takedown. Action will resume with Rosigliano on the bottom, Ham on top. Still in control, looking for a way to roll Sigliano over. Sigliano able to get to his knees, brought back down to the mat again by Ham. Ham trying to roll Sigliano over. No luck. Now he's rolled him over and looking for the pin. Five seconds left on the clock. Sigliano staying in this one. And there's going to be points awarded for the near pin by Ham. Brings the score now to eight to zero. Ham leading over Sigliano. Segliano elects to have both wrestlers start in the upright position for the third and final bout.
Sigliano goes in looking for the leg. Ham quick to capitalize with a two point takedown. Trying to stand up, gets to his knees. And we'll bring him back down to the mat again. Ham has been in control for most of this match. But unable to get the pin on Rusigliano. Now Ham releases Rosigliano. That's a point for Rosigliano, but it's going to be Stephen Ham winning by a major decision. Score 10 to 1. That will bring us to the 132 pound weight class. Wrestling for Lawrence will be Safal Mahajaran. And wrestling for Steinert, Yassin Ahmed. Both wrestlers out on the mat. And wrestling starts. Ahmed goes in looking for a leg. Arjan. And we'll keep that from happening and I'll resume in the middle. Ahmed being the more aggressive of the two. Maharjan analyzing Ahmed's attack, trying to find a way in. Now he'll try for a leg. That doesn't go anywhere either. Now Ahmed tried to trip Maharjan, and Maharjan took advantage of that and gets the two point takedown. Arjan trying to get Ahmed to roll over. Ahmed struggled to his knees for a moment there, but brought right back down to the mat. There's the buzzer for the end of the first bout. Maharjan leading two to zero over Ahmed. Maharjan electing to start on the top for the second bout. Uh, 
Arjan. Unable to hang on there, and Ahmed breaks free. Point for the escape. Now Ahmed going in looking for a takedown. Arjan says no doing, and now he's looking for the takedown, and he'll get it. Two more points awarded to Maharjan. But the action's a little close to the mat, edge of the mat. So a referee will bring him back into the safe center for a restart. Ahmed restarting on the bottom. Maharjan not allowing an escape. Point awarded to Ahmed on that one. Now, Maharjan looking for the pin. Ahmed able to roll back out, but that's going to be three points awarded for a near takedown. And Maharjan once more has him in pinning position. And once more, Ahmed able to roll back over. Three more points awarded to Maharjan. Ahmed to his knees. And Ahmed even gets to his feet. He'll break free for an escape. Another point for Ahmed. goes in and grabs Maharjan by the leg, but the buzzer is going to sound with neither wrestler in control. Now for the third bout, it's going to be Maharjan starting on the bottom. Maharjan may have anticipated that whistle. set up and try that again. And that's going to be leave another point awarded. Well, so far nothing on the board. Harjan got to his feet but was not able to break free. Now twisting around. And there's a point for the escape. Maharjan now leading 11 to 2. completely off the mat that time. Action returns to the middle. Coming up in the final minute. Ahmed goes in looking for the leg. Nothing doing. Not able to get the trip either. Now Ahmed goes in and grabs the leg. Maharjan still has an arm, so 
No take. Now there's going to be a takedown awarded to Ahmed as he gets Maharjan onto the mat. Maharjan able to stand up. He'll break free for the escape. Another point awarded. Ahmed goes in for the takedown, but the buzzer's going to sound. So Safal Maharjan will win by a major decision with a score of 13 to 4 over Yassin Ahmed. That will bring us to the 138 pound weight class. Nick Sutter will be wrestling for Lawrence. He'll be going up against Zach Jones for the Steiner. Now Sutter goes in, grabs a leg. And referee says it's getting out of the circle. Neither wrestler had established control by that point, so they'll resume standing. Sutter goes in for the leg, can't get it. And they'll run out of room once more. Action resumes. Coming up on the one minute mark and still no points awarded to either wrestler. Sutter goes in for the leg, but it's going to be Jones with the takedown. Sutter with the reversal. Tied up again, two points apiece. Two points awarded to Jones for a reversal. And he's looking for the pin on Sutter. Sutter not allowing that pin. And that's going to be a save by the buzzer. Points awarded for a near pin to Jones. Sutter electing to start on the bottom for this second bout. Needs an escape here to score a point. Sutter tries to crawl out, unable to do so, and Jones will bring him down to the mat. Now Sutter back up to his knees. And it's going to be Sutter with the reversal. Two points. Jones able to get to his feet, and he'll get the two-point reversal. Sutter up to his knees. Sutter back up 
to his knees. And Jones will bring it back down to the mat once more. Trying to roll Sutter over for the pin, unable to do so. Time running out. And there's the buzzer for the end of the second bout. Jones way ahead with a score of nine to four. And Jones electing to, to start the third bout on the bottom. Trying to stand up. Sutter not allowing that. Uh, Sutter brings him down to the mat. Jones back up to his knees. Trying to kick free. And he'll get the point for the escape. Sutter goes right in looking for another takedown, but unable to do so. Instead, it's going to be a takedown by Jones. Jones trying to roll Sutter over. Sutter able to get back to his knees. Trying to crawl free. Jones brings him back down to the mat. Now, Jones looking for the pin. Doesn't have it yet. Sutter's going to break free of the pin. Near pin awarded three points more for Jones. And Jones goes right back to work looking for a pin. Sutter not allowing it. Three more points awarded as the buzzer sounds. So it's going to be Zach Jones awarding, uh, awarded a win by major decision. Score 18 to four. That will bring us to the 144 pound weight class. Wrestling for Lawrence, Andy Del Cid. He'll be going up against Alex Hart from Steiner. Sid looking for an opportunity. Now Hart goes in looking for a leg, can't get it. Del Sid trying to circle around behind Hart, but Hart so far not allowing that. Hart back up to his feet, he'll get the takedown. Two points for Hart.
Del Cid able to get back to his knees, tries to kick free, can't do it, and Hart's going to try to get a pin there. Del Cid quick to roll back over. Now Hart trying to roll Del Cid over. No progress being made there. Del Cid up to his knees, brought back down to the mat again. Hawk trying to roll Del Cid over. Still no progress on that front. Time running out in this first bout. There's the buzzer. So at this point, it is Andy, I'm sorry, Alex Hart leading two to zero over Andy Del Cid. Wrestlers will start in the upright position for the second bout. Del Cid goes in looking for a leg, can't get it. Goes in, grabs a leg. Del Cid latched on as well. to the upright position for both of them. Sid goes in, grabs a leg. Hart's going to turn the tables on him. That's two point takedown for Hart. Buzzer's going to end the second bout with Hart leading two to, four to zero over Del Cid. Hart electing to start on the bottom for this third bout. Uh, Del Cid trying to roll Hart over for the pin. Hart trying to crawl out, but unable to. Del Cid still in control. Sid trying to roll hard over there, can't make any progress.
Well, Sid still in control, although not scoring any points. Hard on his knees, trying to get the escape. Action's going to resume in the center. for two more points. Time running out. And there's the buzzer as Alexander Hart is victorious over Andy Del Cid by a decision, a score of six to zero. Next up will be the 150 pound weight class. Pressing for Lawrence, Tyler Cordikins. And wrestling for Steiner will be Marcelo Pandolfini. Very aggressive there. And he'll get the two point takedown. Cordican's trying to kick free, He'll crawl out of it. So, so far, Pandolfini. Still in control. And Cordekin's uh, able to get to his feet, brought back down to the mat by Pandolfini. Cordekin's once more to his feet, looking for an escape. Pandolfini has him by the leg. He'll go two legs and bring him back down to the mat. Action will return to the center of the mat. Tried to crawl out of it. And the Phoenix not allowing that. <laughs> Cordigan's trying to break the grip. And he'll work to his feet once more. And the brings him back down to the mat. Cordigan's once more will work to his feet. And Pandolfini will throw him down to the mat once more. There's the buzzer for the end of the first bout. Only two points scored in that first bout as Pandolfini leads two to zero over Cordigan's. Pandolfini will be starting on the bottom for this second bout. And the 
instruction from the referee. And now Pendlefee struggling furiously to get free. And he'll get the two point reversal. Kordikins looking to do the same. And it's going to be Kordikins with a two point reversal. Trying to get to his feet. Now Cordigan's rolling him over, looking for a pin. And Pendafino will roll back over. But that's going to be three points for Cordigan's, giving him the lead in this match, five to four. Cordigan's still in control. And Cordekins once more looking for a pin. And Afini able to get out of that tight spot. And action gets too close to the edge of the mat. Referee will move action back to the center. Cordigan still on top for the restart. Pandolfini up to his feet, but brought back down again. Finds himself on top of Cordigan's. Cordigan's still in control. And now two point reversal. Clock counting down. And there's the buzzer to end the second bout with the score. Cordekins eight, Pandolfini six. Pandolfini elects to have both wrestlers start standing for the third and final bout. Cordekins going down low. He'll go in looking for the leg. He's got it. Trying for the takedown. Gandolfini hopping around on one leg, and Gandolfini is going to turn the tables on Cordekins. Gandolfini looking for the pin, can't get it. Cordekins kicks free, and he's going for the reversal. He'll get it. Cordekins trying to bring Gandolfini down to the mat. And now he'll do just that as he rolls Gandolfini over looking for the pin. And there's the pin as Tyler Cordekins is going to win in a time of four minutes and 50 seconds. That will bring up the 157 pound weight class. McKaylee Thompson will be wrestling for Lawrence. He'll be going up against Anthony Martola for Steiner. Action gets a little close to the edge. We'll recenter and restart. <laughs> Referee having a consultation over at the scorer's table. Not sure what the problem is, but hopefully we'll get going again very quickly.
Now it looks like the referee's ready to go. Martoli trying to bring Thompson down to the mat. Still no points awarded. And now there we have a two point takedown for Matoli. Thompson gets to his feet, runs out of bounds before he can be awarded the escape. Action will return to center. Thompson tried to get to his feet, couldn't quite do it. Matola is still in control. Now Thompson gets up to his knees. Thompson tried once more for the escape, didn't get there. Now looking for a reversal. And Thompson gets the points for the reversal. Tied up two apiece here in the first bout. And now Thompson's going to work on Matola. Got Matola rolled over, looking for a pin. Matola keeping that shoulder off the mat. And Matola's going to roll back over. Three points for a near pin awarded to Thompson. There's the buzzer for the end of the first bout. And Thompson leading 5-2 to two over Matola. Thompson will be on the bottom for the start of the second bout. Matrola trying to break him down, but Thompson holding firm. And now Matola rolls Thompson over. Thompson quick to get back on his belly. Not allowing a pin. Thompson back up to his knees. Thompson grabs a leg. And he's going to get a reversal. Two more points for Thompson. Now Thompson will go to work on Matola. And Thompson will... I'm sorry, Matola will get the reversal. Thompson back up on his feet, trying to break the grip. Matola brings Thompson back down to the mat. Thompson back up to his knees. Now Thompson up to his feet, trying to break the grip. Matola brings him back down to the mat. Referee says, let's bring that out towards the center of the mat. Checking on Thompson's condition. We'll take a quick break and be right back. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. And Thompson's going to return to the mat. Thompson currently leading seven to four over Matola. Yeah. 
Now wrestling resumes. Thompson trying for the escape, unable to do so. Now he's got Matola by the leg. Thompson looking for a reversal. Unable to get it. Two points awarded to Matola. And there's the buzzer for the end of the bout. Thompson still leading seven to six now over Matola. Very close match. Matola likes to start on the bottom for the third bout. Matola tried to kick out there, couldn't quite do it. Now Thompson looking for a pin. Matola trying to get free. Minute 13, 12, one o'clock. Thompson is still unable to get the pin on Matola. Matola hanging tough. It's going to be two points awarded to Thompson for the reversal. Now it's Matola looking for the escape. Thompson in control. Clock counting down, coming up on 10 seconds. Now Matola is trying for the escape, but it's too little too late. And Thompson is going to win by a decision with a score of nine to six. Cardinals wrestling squad leading 20 to seven. That'll bring us to the 165 pound weight class. Wrestling for Lawrence will be James Lyons. He'll be going up against Anthony Giglio from Steiner. Giglio being the aggressor so far. Giglio thought about going for the leg there, didn't get very far. Another attempt. Lions quick to dart back whenever he tries. Another attempt, and this one is going to find Lyons well, picked up by Jiglio and brought down to the mat for a two-point takedown.
Giglio not making much progress. Now he'll bring Lions down to the mat. Giglio trying to roll Lions over. Lions springs back to his knees. Giglio brings Lions down to the mat once more. And there's the buzzer for the end of the first bout. It will be Giglio leading four to zero over Lions. Lions electing to have both wrestlers. Oh, I'm sorry, Lions electing to be on top for the second bout. Lions trying for a takedown. And they're going to get out of bounds before either wrestler can score any points. Lions goes in and he'll get a takedown. Giglio quick to roll over on his belly. Now Giglio trying to stand up. Giglio trying to kick free, unable to do so. Lions still in control. Now Lions trying for the escape. Jigaloo brings him back down to the mat again. Going to be one point awarded to Giglio for that one. Oh, there's a shoe under there. Lions still on top. And it's going to be Giglio with the reversal. Trying to roll Lions over for a pin. And there's the buzzer. Giglio leading eight to two over Lions. And for the third bout, both wrestlers will be starting in the upright position. Lion shakes off the attack. Now he'll go in for the leg, and Lions brings Giglio down to the mat. He'll get two points for a takedown. Giglio, two points for a reversal. Get 
Due to technical difficulties, we will not be able to bring you the rest of this match or meet. I can tell you that Anthony Giglio was victorious over James Lyons with a decision of 12 to 10 as Lyons fought back but came up just a little bit short. In the 175 pound weight class, Elliot Morris from Steinert was victorious over Omar Ibrahim by decision with a score of 9 to 5. In the 190 pound weight class, Noel Farjado from Lawrence was victorious over Yazid Ahmed by a decision with a score of 9 to 8. In the 215 pound weight class, Dream Hemingway from Steinert was victorious over Samuel Moffat from Lawrence in a decision, score of 7 to 1. Maxwell Powell from Steinert was victorious in the 285 pound weight class by a pin in a time of 303 over Malachi Stoudemire from Lawrence. Then we went back to the 106 pound weight class where Saren Siva from Lawrence won by a pin with a time of 1 minute and 32 seconds over Michael Simonovich from Steinert. Alexander Castano was awarded a technical fall over Mazen Shuha from Lawrence with a score of 17 to 2. Final score for the meet. Your Lawrence Cardinals were victorious over the Steinert Spartans with a score of 29 to 26. Thank you to Stacy Zegas for working camera for this event, and thank you all for watching. Be sure to tune in again next time for more exciting Cardinal sports action on LTPS TV.